Maybe I'll keep that in, I don't know. Good morning. We are uh, on our way back to the park. Knocked out last night. Got some very needed coffee. And uh, we're doing a few more hikes today. And we're doing some portrait shooting to start the day. Uh, Young's wearing nothing but a bra, so it'll be very interesting. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, we'll see you guys inside. We are starting Marvel Falls, ready to burn off that pizza. <laughs> uh, under seven miles, about 1600 feet elevation. I'll talk more about that in the trail details video. But uh, should be a good one, should be a good one. And it's basically our only hike for today because we're pretty tired. Let's get started.
you hear it? Sounds real nice right down there. That's on video. Marble Falls Trail. Uh, gorgeous, beautiful. It was so hot on the way up. And uh, if you want to know more about the trail, trail details, and some uh, recommendations from Ian, make sure you watch the trails video. It'll be linked in the description down below. Um, we're pretty much done. That was about seven miles, and we're gonna go eat and call it a day. Any any last comments, thoughts? It's time for food. Yes. <laughs> Hungry. Food. Hungry. Shocker. All right. Welcome back to the channel guys. This video is by far the longest vlog I've made, so I'm gonna try and keep this short, but I am gonna give you three really important tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, but these tips will make your travel at Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park a whole of a lot better. So, let's just jump into them. First tip, there's only one place on the mountain to get gas, and as of May, 2021, it was closed. So if you're gonna go up the mountain, fill up in Three Rivers or wherever you are before you head into the park, fill up. You do not wanna be up the mountain thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have enough gas. There's not a lot of places up there. So before you go in, fill up that gas tank. You'll worry free is the best way to travel. Second of all, get a map or download some maps offline. Service is super spotty on the mountain and you don't wanna be up there saying, it's really one road, but there are other roads that you can kind of take and find some cool spots. You don't want to miss that. So make sure that you, all trails, download offline maps or take an actual map, whatever it is. When you hit the three rivers, get the pamphlets that tells you, hey, these are the trails, this is that. Do a little bit of research on that end. You'll enjoy your time as you're traveling through the park a whole of a lot more. And my last tip, I think the most important tip I'm gonna give you is before you go, call the ranger station. The reason I suggest you call the ranger station is because the weather is incredibly difficult to predict on the mountain. Summertime, wintertime, okay, I get it. But, Three Rivers, I'll put the elevation details down below. You just go up the mountain. So the weather at Three Rivers is almost always very different to what you find at near the top of Sequoia and Kings Canyon. Very, very different. I've been in situations where Three Rivers is like 75 degrees, it's snowing up the mountain. Now, that may not happen around summertime, but when you type in, you say, what kind of clothes should I bring? Let me Google map, you know, Sequoia. Is it taking you to Sequoia at 2,000 feet? Or is it taking you to Sequoia at 8,000 feet? The weather changes, the best thing to do is to call the ranger station and just ask them. They're there, they're walking around. I checked on weather.com. I did a few different ones when I went on this trip. Everything was telling me high 50s, low 60s. The entire trip was mid 70s. Marble Falls was probably mid 80s. Hope you guys liked the full vlog. Make sure you stay tuned. We got the next national park, which is Yosemite. So we got some videos on that coming real soon. I already said stay tuned, so make sure you stay tuned. Peace.